Hey guys and welcome to day one of the Mullingar International Show Vlog. Today today is Thursday and today um, there's just national classes on. The international classes start on Saturday and they go Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So on Thursday and Friday I am jumping Dali and Katie. Um, they're just jumping the national classes. Katie is jumping the 110 and Dali is jumping the meter. So I'm just gonna get Katie now. I'm running a little bit behind, so I will talk to you guys more in the lorry about like, yeah, how to qualify for the finals and then all about Cal and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll chat to you guys then. I'm just gonna get Katie. Just gonna get Katie in from the field now. Dali is a bit upset, but only Katie is coming this morning because she's jumping at half nine and then Dali isn't jumping until like three. So I'm just going to bring Katie first, then come back, we'll have lunch at home and stuff, and then we'll bring Dali later. I've got Katie here with me. She got a big bath yesterday so hopefully she's still quite white underneath that fly rug. Her tail is still white and looks quite good. So that's good. Don't know what her mane looks like. We'll see. But yeah, I don't have much time to groom her so hopefully she's quite nice and clean. Katie is very excited to get on her way. She's literally shaking in her little boots. Look, her mane actually turned out quite nice. Good girl, Katie. You relax now. We'll load you up and we'll hit the road. Dad's there playing with the dogs. What time did you get home at last night, Dad? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? Gosh, eight in the morning, was it? Hey guys, so we're on the road now. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just tell you like what we're jumping so we have time earlier. So Katie is going now to jump the 110. So we're jumping here the 110 today and tomorrow and then the final is on Monday. But to qualify you have to be in the top 10 and there is 140 in my class today. So we're gonna try our best, <laughs> but we'll see how we go. I haven't actually done like jump off and turns and stuff with Katie yet. So it'll be our first time doing it together, but if there's any horse I want to be doing it on, it is probably her. She is so fast, and she'll just turn on sixpence. So yeah, I'm really excited. And then with Dali, he is also jumping the meter today and tomorrow, and also the top 10 qualify for the final on Monday. And there is less this class, there's about 70, but is Dali a speed horse? No. <laughs> He's probably the furthest thing from a speed horse. So we'll just see how it goes. If he just has two confident rounds, I'll be very, very happy. Um, so that's kind of the goal with him. So yeah, we're heading there now. Um, it's the first class of the day. It starts at half eight. So we're gonna get there hopefully around 10 past eight. I'll walk the course and then I think, oh yeah, I'm number 27 to go. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. Any last words, Dad? Best of luck, Holly. You're gonna do it. Wow, someone's very confident. <laughs> All right, we'll see you there. Good girl, Katie. Are you excited? We're here. We're parking in a field. Dad's here. I'm here. Dad's here. Ooh, we're going to walk our course. Here is the course. Doodle -doo. Now, Katie girl is all ready to go. Are you excited? Going to go super fast. Really fast, Katie? Yes. Look at her. She's with yours when I said fast. All right, we'll get going. Dad's whispering probably bad things into her ears. No, she's probably gonna book me off now.
Fox shows here. Who's taking who for a walk? Are you the best girl? Are you the best girl? Oh, she says goodbye. Just thinking about the grass, but she, no, she hasn't found the perfect strand of grass yet. We're very happy, Katie. We're very happy with you. How exciting. So we are currently in second place and about 28 people have gone. So we're about a fifth of the way through and we're in second place. So let's just keep on hoping that we end up in the top 10. Home, Katie. Turn me over. Thank you. We're home. Over for some food and then back out to the field. Very good girl. Come on. We're still in second, by the way. About 40 people have gone. Woo! I think I'm a bit obsessed. Hey guys, so we are back home now. Katie girl is e eating some feed, kind of. She's eating a bit and then making sure that there isn't anyone sneaking up on her. Don't be so worried. Um, Yeah, she was an absolute star. I'm so pleased with her. Um. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, that was a two-phase competition. So one to six. One to seven was the first round. Um, and you just have to go clear. And then the second half of the course, so eight till 12, was the jump off part. So that was timed. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm jumping, jumping, jumping. And then after number seven, I like do a right turn and we get going. Um, so that was the timed part. We're currently in second place. So we'll see if we make the top 10. I'll be so pleased if we do. Um, like this class is notoriously competitive. As I said, there's like 140 people in the class and it's just like a height that you can really go very fast um, over. So hopefully we stay in the top 10 and we qualify for Monday. But if not, we do have another chance tomorrow to qualify. Um, and to be honest, even if not, I'm so pleased with her. That was my first time doing any sort of speed with her. So I kind of wasn't sure like what to expect, but of course she just took absolutely everything on so well. She was so brave. Um, I definitely look back and like there were places I could have made up time, um, but that's just hindsight and knowing her a bit better now. So if we do jump tomorrow, like, I think it'll be even better because we just have a better idea of what we need to do and how I need to ride her. I also think that this round was so much better than my our round in Kylogue last week. Um, I'm kind of riding her a little bit differently. I'm actually riding her a lot more forward. But it's kind of funny, the more forward you ride her, almost she backs herself off then and then it ends up being slower or not slower, but like a lot smoother. Like when you take a pull with her, she completely sits back on her hocks and like almost comes to a standstill like she's very good at cantering like on the spot but i don't want her to do that i want her to make up the distances make the strides be nice and forward so i was practicing jumping her during the week i was riding her really nice and forward and she was jumping so well so i rode her like that today and i think yeah i think it was a much smoother round um i think it was really nice so i'm absolutely delighted really really pleased with her um so yeah now i'm going to put her back out in the field I'm going to have some lunch. I might head back over to Mullingar to watch some jumping and then it'll be time to bring Dali. He's going to be jumping. His class starts around two o'clock, um, but that's if it runs on time. We'll have to see because, because there's a lot of jumping to happen before his class. So we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to ride him too. With him, I just need to ride him forward. I need to ride forward through the corners and we'll be right. So that's what I need to do. So someone remind me. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really excited. So yeah, I'll put her out, I get some food. Um, I might put a few clips in if I watch some of the other jumping. There's some age classes and stuff on, which would be nice to watch. Um, and yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. Now, I think she's looking for the yearlings, but she can't see that they're lying down just behind the, <laughs> behind the, the bush. Oh, Katie, they're over there, look, to your right. No more right. Is her waterproof on? Because apparently it's gonna rain this afternoon. Very sad.
Hey guys, so it's now a little bit later. It is currently um, nearly one o'clock. So I'm going to get Dali to get him ready. I actually didn't end up going back to watch. Um, I had lunch and I may have had a little nap, but don't tell anyone. And now I am feeling very excited to jump. Dally boy, so I'll get him in and get him groomed. He also got a wash yesterday, so actually even Cal got washed yesterday. I was like on a streak. So he should be hopefully nice and clean, but we will see. I found one Dally boy. He's looking very snoozy. So you may wake up Dally. We're going to a show. Excited. Now it is the gorgeous Dally's turn. He's looking nice and shiny. His mane is actually behaving itself. Shockingly. Are you excited? Yeah. Got his booties. Let's go. Dad's inspecting the truck. Not sure what for. I'll give you this. Holly bringing Dally. The ramp. All excited. As she slips. As she says, good boy. Thanks, Thanks Holly. Now look, Holly close, closing the stock, the thing, the partition thing. See, she doesn't know how to do this because I always do it. Oh look, though she closes that thing and the other thing. Now we're here. I've just walked my course, and yeah, I'm number twenty-eight. So very excited. Gonna watch a few and then get ready. It's going to be very brief because it's wet, raining and miserable. Dally's ready to go. I'm a little bit late and we're going to jump around very forward thinking. Yes. Good boy. Oh. Was the gentleman with the red and white umbrella at the bottom of the arena, would you either move or take down the umbrella, please, so they can all upset in the horses. Thank you very much. Dally boy, are you very good boy? Did you save my butt? He says yeah, <laughs> I did. And can I get another treat, please, for the for the pleasure of doing that? Yes, one more treat, one more. No, this pocket or this pocket, or this hand or that pocket. <laughs> oh, here, I get him one more. <laughs> he's had about twenty, but he's getting two more because yeah, he was very good boy, <laughs> very good. We're home. Dad's cleaning out the big poo that Dolly did. Are you ashamed? Right, we'll get you some food, a nice warm rug, 
Come put you out. Oh, I'm starving, he says, starving. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Daddy is in here always making faces at me. He's eating some feed. Cal is also in. He just got a little lunch and some food. And I had to put on a rain sheet because it's raining. So let's recap the day and then talk about what is in store for the next few days. So to start with Katie, obviously excellent. An update is that she came sixth. So please. So yeah, she placed. We got a little bit of money and we qualified for the final. So excited. On to Dali. Dali was so good. I'm really, really pleased with him. The absolute state of him, like what is wrong with you? Anyway, I was so pleased. Like if you've been kind of following the vlogs, you'll know that he has lost a bit of confidence um, this year. He just came out and he was super spooky. So for him to go straight into a meter in a new arena, like lots of people, lots of horses, very kind of busy atmosphere. And he just jumped around and he was so good. Except for the one jump where I absolutely plowed him into the bottom of it. Like, that was so terrible. That was really bad. But anyway, the only thing I will say is that because I was just riding so forward, even when he got in really deep, he was in deep because he was so forward as opposed to me pulling and pulling and pulling and then pulling him into the base of the jump and then he has no energy and there's no hope of getting over the jump. So at least we did it with energy and he actually somehow managed to jump over that jump and the back bar and he was so good. So yeah, really pleased. And the last double was causing a few issues because it was right up against all the people. Um, but no problem at all. Um, whenever I felt him kind of back off a little bit, I just put on leg and he would just jump higher. He felt really good, I have to say. A lot of the jumps felt like very nice. Um, there was one jump, it was one, two, it was three to four. And it was like a kind of, kind of a dog leg, but like very mild bending lying. Um, and he just pulled me down it and wasn't very pleased with that. Um, I took a pull and he just said, nope. Luckily it ended up okay, but yeah, um, the rest of the round he was very, very good and very listening to me. So I was very happy with that. So what is the plan for tomorrow? So tomorrow, Katie is jumping the 110 again. Dali is jumping in the meter again. I will still go for time on Katie, even just to practice for the final on Monday. Cause no, um, there's no pressure on us tomorrow. Like I can just go for time, have fun, like try some things see what kind of works um, because we've already qualified. And then she'll be going to the final on Monday, which has 3000 euro prize money. So you bet we're gonna be trying to earn a few dollars for Brona. <laughs> um, so that'll be fun. And then Dali is gonna jump the meter tomorrow as well. Um, just again, if he has a nice confident round, I'll be really, really pleased. And then Dali is also coming with us. And then he actually isn't jumping until Saturday, but he has to but he has to be settled into a stable by 1 p.m. tomorrow. And then there's a trot up at three, I believe. So we're gonna bring him in the morning. We're gonna drop him into his stable after the two horses have jumped, get him all settled. Then dad's gonna drive the lorry home. Dali and Katie are gonna go out to the field for Saturday and Sunday. I'll ride Katie, just keep her tipping along before her final on Monday. And then I'll head back then in my car. I'll just be going back and forth to Cal because I can bring my hay, feed, everything in my car. We're like literally 10, 15 minutes away from Mullingar. I'm only stabling him there because you literally have to when you're jumping in the international, the international horses have to stay on the property. So that's the only reason I'm stabling him there because we are so close by. So I said that, yeah, we'll leave the lorry here at home um, because then dad will need the lorry on Monday morning to bring Katie. Um, and then we'll bring Katie and Cal home on Monday. A bit confusing. Cal is jumping Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. He's jumping 1.30, 1.30, 1.35. So that is the plan for the weekend. I'm so excited. So yeah, first things first, gotta get these two jump tomorrow and then it'll be all focused on da. Uh, it'll be all focused on Cal. Um, with his international classes. So hopefully I've done everything right because there's a million and one rules. And because I haven't done internationals before, like I'm sure everyone just finds this really easy to remember. But like you have to like take Cal's temperature twice a day, three days leading up to the show. You have to have all these like registrations, um, all these forms. There's like the trot up, which I'm just like 
randomly afraid that they're gonna be like he's lame you know he literally isn't but anyway just in case he does something silly um but yeah all exciting exciting times i also don't have my dad for saturday and sunday because he's gone away for the weekend which is a bit of a bummer um but yeah i have a friend helping me warm up hopefully so we'll be all right <laughs> so that is it for day one of the mullingar international show vlog so you have one, two, three more vlogs coming, okay? There's gonna be a vlog from tomorrow. There's gonna be a combined Saturday and Sunday vlog, I think. And there's gonna be a Monday vlog. So, exciting times. Monday I'm very excited for it because it's Katie's final and the 135 on Cal, so. And my dad will be there, so I'm really pleased. Okay, that is it, enough rambling. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.